Hi, my name is Christopher Brown. I'm a photographer, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about my photography and how my new book, Path of Beauty, Photographic Adventures in the Grand Canyon, came to be. I grew up in the Bay Area of Northern California, and I was surrounded by the photographs of the West Coast F64 Club photographers, Imogene Cunningham, Ansel Adams, uh, Minor White, and people like that. And I'd seen a lot of their work as a, as a child, and um, I really admired it, and I um, coveted it and wanted to own things like that. But in those days, those things were pretty expensive. They were selling prints for about $25 each, and I figured I'd better learn how to do my own photography if I wanted to have photographs like that. So when I started college, I got myself a Spot Mac, Spotmatic, a Pentax Spotmatic, which in those days was the the uh, the hot ticket in cameras. It had a light meter built into it. It was the first single lens reflex with a light meter. So I used that and I basically started taking a camera with me wherever I went. I've been to some incredibly spectacular places over the years and my photographs are basically a report back to my friends and to people in the city of the things that I've seen. I basically feel like I've had a lifelong love, of, love affair with the planet and I like to show want to share this uh, with other people because we live in our own Garden of Eden here and I want other people to see what a wonderful place it is and appreciate it as much as I do. So eventually when uh, I went to college I studied photography and I got a degree in fine arts and after I got out of school I started really teaching myself photography. Like a lot of um, photographers in those days, I started working in black and white and making my own prints. I um, supported myself. My day job was being a wilderness guide. I worked as a mountain guide in Colorado and then I expanded and guided in Alaska and in the deserts of the Southwest and I discovered rivers. Um, I was working for the Outward Bound program and we had a, a river running program and I was totally entranced by the rivers of the Colorado Plateau. Eventually, I worked my way up and became a guide in the Grand Canyon. And whenever I would get a chance, I would go off into side canyons with my camera and, and take photographs. And I did this for 30 years. And that uh, has eventually ended up in my book, Path of Beauty. It's a record of my experiences in the canyon. It's a view of the canyon from the inside out. Now most of us are familiar or have at least seen photographs of the canyon from the rims and it's an incredibly spectacular place and it's overwhelming. It's so big and it's so complex it's hard to get a real grasp on it. But being living in the canyon and seeing it from the inside out is one way to, to uh, understand how it's all put together and, and uh, get into contact with the intimate details um, and the beautiful side canyons and the uh, ferns and the waterfalls and the streams. In, in the canyons and this is where I've done most of my photographic work and my my book is really a record of the Grand Canyon from the inside out.